Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Friday 10th of June. So with the DAX here, um, I don't have all the answers, but uh, I'll share what I what I think at this particular point in time in that um, this current move down through here, if we look at it with the S&P 500, we'd been looking for wave one up here with an A wave and A, B, C for wave B here. And then one, two, three, four, five for one and two and one and two. So this will be one and two and three and four and five for the third wave here. So we'll see some sort of rally. I haven't pulled all that apart just yet, but um, we'll see something like this that will sort of stick around the 14,000 uh, to 13,900, somewhere into that space. And I want to have a look at it as we get to that point. Now, um, I think that the DAX can do much the same at the 14,000. I've had it down here as wave A, B and C here, um, but I've also, uh, and then looking at uh, a larger sort of wave one up there, but that would put the market in too, too far in advance of, um, of the US markets, which is not a big thing because the tech, tech stocks were pumped up in the COVID uh, period and um, these European markets and Asian markets were more, more stable. Um, but at the same time, as a wave one here and a wave two here, the wave two is rather big and clunky for um, for a wave one. So it fits better as a, as a B wave. So I want to see how this is from this low to this high here. We can squeeze five waves in. We could count this in a couple of different ways up here, actually. It's a little bit... Um, a little bit sort of iffy in a way so this uh, box here and this trend line through here will be the support and obviously there's a lot of price action in here so I'm thinking that let's just wait and see what the market looks like once this has moved down here further and what the US markets looks like I understand that this ABC here can just be the A wave and then an ABC for the B wave and come down for the C wave here before finishing off in a larger wave four. I, under, I understand that, um, but it's always one step at a time. So I just want to see, I mean, I, I can also cram five waves up into this space. The wave five is a little bit small. Um, we could put it up here as an A, B and C as well. Uh, <coughs> there's a couple of different ways we could uh, look at all of this. Uh, we could also put it all up here as as wave one up to this point and having wave two come back to this point. There's a few things that can be done, but I can't find anything that sticks at this particular point in time. So I just really want to uh, allow that to come down at that point. And uh, yeah, so um, let's just have a look at this trend to the downside. I've just been looking at it in two different ways. So we'll just go in and have a look at those two different ways. So this here is a sort of an ABC pattern coming into play. So an A wave, a B wave, and then one, two, three, four, five for one and two here. So it's quite a long wave one. So that would make this one, two, three, four, five here down for the third wave, fourth wave, and fifth wave. And that would be about the right timing of events probably take it a bit lower than this, but there's a lot of price action at the 14, uh, so the 50% and the 61.8% will probably sort of find support in this uh, area. So I really just want to see how this lands. And the other little count that I was looking at down here was pretty much the same really, yeah, slightly different, but still takes us down to uh, just sort of a slightly different count all over. But yeah, look, either way, we're going to see, you know, the, we're going to see this, you know, we're going to see this kind of uh, price action uh, around this level, you know. So um, yeah, so just, you know, it's going to be choppy. There's a lot of support coming in around this space here. The fast speed, the, the, the what you see is not what you get. So this fast part in the trend here was was the third of the third of the third here, the third of the third of the third, so it was quick. But that's not what you get next. So this bit down here will look a little bit clunky like this here if I flip that over on its head from that point. So um, yeah, so just bear that in, <clears throat> bear that in mind. 
Uh, so the same with the stock 50 here as well. We'll end up being below the 3650. The 3600 would probably be about right, but it will sort of slow down in that space. Uh, the FTSE, um, as you know, we're expecting it to pull back. So we had that little A, B, and C. I mean, obviously, I wasn't expecting it to go that you know that quick. Um, so that sort of caught me out, but uh, as you know, I was expecting it to move back. So I also want to see how this move, because this makes a nice A wave, B wave here and the C wave here. So I just want to see how that plays out in that in that space there as well. So the 7,300 and this trend line through here and all that will become uh, a nice support for that. Now, uh, the uh, US dollar index, yesterday when we were talking, we had two options we had either wave b here or wave b to come further up and obviously it wanted to come further up at that point and you could probably also put this here as well in this case with one two three four and five coming up here but either way we're in our box up here so it's not going to come that not going to go that much further at that point and we'll probably see it reach a bit higher and then fold back uh, in 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 that in, in, in this space here so yeah that's why we still need um you know we still need uh, another leg down here and also too when you think about it um when this is pushing up here the the other stocks are pushing down uh, the the indices are pushing down so once this turns down here then that's going to push those uh you know the the, the euro higher and so on the all the the indices higher once that's once that tops and turns there so you need to take that into consideration as well and also for the euro us dollar here uh, we just need to expand this here. So we counted up for the A wave here uh, and we thought we're going up for the C wave. But anyway, the B wave just got B waves can be like wave fours. They can get big and ugly. And that's what it's doing here at the moment. So it does make a nice A wave, B wave. Sorry, an A wave here, an A, B and C wave here for the B wave. So it makes it a nice A, B, C, but it still needs to pull. It, it can pull down further put it that way so that will be pulling down in line with the euros as well so the in indices so once that finds its space here then <clears throat> we'll see that push up and we'll see the indices push up at that point there as well uh, into uh, probably somewhere up in 1.1 somewhere up there uh, in that space uh, there can be a bigger bull market here with this as well but um, this is sort of our primary count at the moment, so I'll just stay with that as for today. So, yeah, just be mindful <clears throat> of this turn here uh, and uh, keep an eye on keep an eye on everything, really. I mean, from uh, from the, you know, from the currencies to the US banks and US tech stocks and the S&P and the NASDAQ, even though you don't trade them, because they got to all kind of fit together in a way. You know, that's the important point. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.